Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'd like to show you one of my favorite things about the hobby. I went to my LCS today and I picked up a bunch of, uh, you know, funky old top loaders, cheap cards, but maybe some, uh, some gems in there. I love to take the cards out of the old top loaders and uh, put them in new penny sleeves and show them some love and then look at them. One of my favorite things about the hobby and I want to share it with all you guys and uh, drop a comment and let me know what your favorite thing about the hobby is or one of them. This is one of mine. So uh, let's check out what we got. All right, guys. So I gave some love and care to these cards and let's check out what we got. This is a 1998 Wade Boggs whole bound die cut insert. Here is a 2000 Upper Deck Eternal Glory insert, Roger Clemens. 1999 El Duque Fleer Diamond Magic insert. 1999 Tops El Duque Club K insert. Love this card, super clean. 1999 Stadium Club Derek Jeter Never Compromise insert. Very nice card. Okay, I think this is a 2009 Upper Deck Derek Jeter Profiles insert. 1999 Upper Deck Derek Jeter Super Tools insert. 2000 Upper Deck Derek Jeter Five Tool Talents insert. 1999 Skybox Thunder, Derek Jeter. Here's a 1997 Flair Ultra Rookie Reflections insert. There's a 1999 Top Stadium Club Triumvirate insert, and that is my man Tino Martinez. Great player. There's a 1999 Bowman Andy Pettit Late Bloomers insert. This is a great card, really, really clean. It's a 1997 Donruss Press Proof Andy Pettit. Very cool card. It's a 1998 Donruss Andy Pettit, the Untouchables die cut insert. Here's a 1997 totally certified platinum red Andy Pettit numbered to 3,999. Here's a 1997 Flair Wave of the Future Jorge Posada. And the design on these are really cool. I always like these. Here's a Pinnacle certified Jorge Posada, quote unquote, rookie card. It's a 2001 Bowman's Best Bernie Williams Fake Refractor. Bowman's Best does that sometimes. They make refractor cards that don't say refractor on the back. They haven't done it in a while, though. But Topps Chrome does it still. And to finish it off, this 2000 Flair Alfonso Soriano Who to Watch insert. I love this card. Uh, reminds me of the old cards with the cool backgrounds. Take a look at that background. Yankee Stadium, really, really nice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I spent like 30 or 35 bucks on these cards and, uh, you know, get a lot of enjoyment out of them. It's one of my favorite things about the hobby is to do this. Uh, let me know what your favorite things about the hobby are.